Hi guys! We're here at the Great Northern Warehouse in Manchester. We're here to ask you about some of your favourite holiday destinations, uh, tips and tricks for holidays. Let's see what we found out. How much ice cream do you eat on holiday? A lot. <laughs> 20. <laughs> Not that much. Uh, at least two. Two or three. Maybe more. What's the best thing about being on holiday? Just being able to relax and getting out of your, you know, nine to five kind of grind. Escaping the, the real life and immersing myself in nature and just getting away from all the hustle and bustle of the cities and work and totally chilling out and of course the cocktails. Do you have any advice for kids travelling with parents? If they ask you what to do, just ignore them because you're on holiday, it's, it's a relaxing vacation and you do what you want, so just don't listen. Good advice. Keep them in your sight at all times, maybe? Yeah. What's your favourite thing to do on the beach? Read. Read or swim. Read while swimming. I like going for a swim in the sea. Uh, we also like making sandcastles, of course. Either sea kayaking or stand-up paddle boarding. And once again, the good old favourite, <laughs> the cocktails once again. What is the weirdest souvenir you've ever bought? Weirdest souvenir? I have no idea. Um... Crocodile's tooth off a Gambian witch doctor. <laughs> I mean, I'm always looking for sculpting tools. It's from Italy, so it's from Florence. And I have not ever seen them anywhere else, ever. This little tool, look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? Handmade, apparently. Do you have any really funny holiday memories? When I went to Lanzarote, when, whenever the lifeguard went on his break, there was a massive slide, he wasn't allowed inflatables on it. And when he was on his lunch, everybody used to grab their inflatables and slide down <laughs> it. I recommend for everybody just going to the beach with your child is something amazing. I mean, just to see them in the water is, is something incredible, incredible, beautiful. I was trying to persuade this kid that was walking along the beach in the Gambia that they should stay away from the turtles, for they were snapping turtles. The child didn't believe me, so I had to persuade the child by saying, well, I didn't believe my mummy and daddy when I, told them, when I was told about these snapping turtles. So um, I poked my finger at the turtle, and the turtle took the end of my finger off. <laughs> just ignore them and you do what you want. It's a relaxing vacation. So just don't listen. The moral of that story is, mummies and daddies don't bluff. If they do advise you on something to do with health and safety, follow their advice. 